This is 69 News Live at Sunrise. Your life, your world, your news. 69 News Live at Sunrise. Plus, who contributes more on the job, senior staffers or the newbies? We'll tell you how to unleash the power of a multi-generational workforce when local author Kim Huggins joins us live. That's coming up. Stay with us. Thank you, Matt. Well, 10, 20, and 30 years ago, leaders were taught, taught to regard everyone in the same light. But now author and HR expert Kim Huggins from Montgomery County says they're having to adapt to a multi-generational workforce and the fact that generations do not think the same way. So how should leaders adapt and utilize the talents of everyone? Well, Kim gives some advice in her new book, Generate Performance, and she joins me now to take us inside the pages. Kim, good morning. Good morning. Great to see you again. Congrats Thanks. on the new book. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. so exciting. We're going to give everybody, like I just mentioned, a little overview this morning. Great. Uh, it's called Generate Performance, a great read. I had a chance to look through it uh, in preparation for today's interview. And Kim, our viewers probably recognize you from past interviews. Mm -hmm. You know, you were wearing your HR hat before. Right. How did this book come to be and the author hat, so to speak? How did it all happen? Well, actually, I've been speaking and training on this topic for many years yeah, now, sure. and I'm just so passionate about it. It's mm -hmm. such a fun topic to talk about. People really love to learn more about themselves and mm -hmm. the others that they're working with and it really is an important business issue mm -hmm. in today's business world. And why did you think the topic was so intriguing and so important that you, you thought, okay, this is going to be my first book. I need to write down some of these thoughts. Yeah, well, the demographics of the workforce are changing mm -hmm. so much. People are living longer, they're staying in the workplace longer, and the economy has certainly impacted Sure. People that were thinking about retiring needed to stay in the workplace. And so that has caused some different dynamics. And now you have four generations working more closely together. And it just adds, you know, a whole different um, experience to the workplace than it was, like you said, 10, 20, 30 years ago. Yeah. And would you say that most uh, workplaces are multi-generational these days? Yeah, I mean, most how? workplaces are. They have at least three generations and okay. many have four as well. So, you know, some of the small to mid-sized businesses, family-owned companies have four generations working together and creates a different dynamic. Yeah, now it doesn't sound so bad because, you know, you might think, okay, lots of different generations uh, contributing different viewpoints, but mm -hmm. I guess that's not an always easy for, for leaders to adapt to, right? What are the main problems con or concerns that this well, might bring? Well, each generation just has very different expectations and preferences, mm -hmm. you know, when it comes to why they choose to, um, why they're attracted to an employer, why they choose to stay with an employer, what they're looking for in their experience while they're there, mm -hmm. how they want to be trained and developed and grow. And so it just causes some misconceptions and misunderstandings across team members. Mm -hmm. And why should, you know, why should leaders care? What kind of impact have if the leader doesn't know how to adapt to those different preferences and expectations. Yep. Well, it definitely can impact the bottom line mm -hmm. because you need employees who are engaged and motivated to be productive. And when you have these de generational issues around things like communication and team dynamics and customer relationships, you know, it can impact what happens in the business. Okay. So what did it take to put the book together, Kim? What kind of things do you focus on in Generate Performance? Well, I did a lot of research mm -hmm. before Beforehand. I did surveys, I did interviews and focus groups, really trying to learn as much as I could from and about the four generations. And then I really tried to create just simple strategies that were easy to understand and people could read the book and just walk away and immediately begin implementing some of the, the tips. Uh, yeah. as soon as they got back to the workplace. Yeah, you mentioned simple and easy, and that's really the style of the, the book. I mean, you can mm -hmm. you can read it pretty quickly, and, and it's not like, you know, too hard to digest, so to right. speak, right? Is that what you That was on? my intent, yeah, you know. I, feel, I think a lot of people are like me and have all good intentions of doing a lot mm -hmm. of reading, but just don't have the time anymore. Right, so right. I wanted to create something that was really, you know, a quick read. I kind of had the business traveler in mind, you know, you could get on the plane sure, and pretty yeah. much read it cover to cover by the end of your trip. And that you had some great takeaways and I also wanted it to have some humor in there mm -hmm. so I have cartoons in there of the different generations talking to each other because I think that's really important on this topic. So who do you hope reads it Kim and what do you hope they take away from it? Well really anybody um, in, that's in the workplace can mm -hmm. get something out of it you know teams that are looking to work more effectively together, right. leaders who are trying to understand the four generations and how they can manage those four generations so mm -hmm. it pretty much applies to anybody. Great and what was it like after all of this hard 
hard work finally seeing, you know, the finished products <laughs> become a reality. It was very exciting. Yeah. A lot of hard work, but, you know, it was exciting. Great, Kim. Well, we, we can't wait to talk a little bit more about this, which we'll do in just a few minutes. So coming up next, do you just have to make do if you have a multi-generational workforce? We'll tell you how you can leverage the strengths of each generation. Some advice coming up from Kim in just a few minutes. Stay with us.